Beans. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's a long time, Saku vlog, yes. And yeah, um, I'm gonna be chatting with you guys while I get ready. Wow, I actually feel like a YouTuber. But yeah, let's get started. I usually do light makeup and just style my hair a little bit. I feel like I do it. Firstly, I just feel more confident when I am well presented, I guess. And also, I feel like it's just- <laughs> I find this whole process of like getting ready very therapeutic. It's very quiet, like alone time where I get to think in life and stuff like that. It's very nice. And also, I just- like dressing up it's really nice like for a girl to be confident in herself anyways the reason why i wanted to do this video is because firstly yes i haven't filmed a vlog in so long but secondly it's just because i feel like there are not that many good examples out there of people actually having a decent like work sleep art life balance and i know it's like always like rumored that like our students does leave because they're always drawing but i kind of want to break that stigma um a little bit because i can do it so i can hopefully know and inspire you guys to start living healthy and we can all live one day at a time and just vibe oh where's my hairspray okay so Obviously, there are days where I flop and I can't get out of bed this early, obviously. But I do try my best to maintain this schedule to the best of my ability. Um, because I really like just getting into habits and consistency. For me, like just that consistency, stability just makes me feel better and like less lost in life. And also... Um, I think getting up early just makes me feel better and yeah if you can see throughout the day I'm actually I don't talk that much to people because a lot of people don't have this schedule as me and it's kind of lonely at times but I don't think it's that lonely at the same time like I talk to my friends during class and stuff like that um, and I also really learned how to value alone time after coming to art school slash university because uh, the person you will spend the most with in your lifetime is yourself so you should learn how to be friends with them too yeah that's all I want to say for now um I'm going to finish getting ready and then afterwards I'm gonna eat breakfast and then I have one class in the morning and then I will talk to you Later. Okay, bye! So we're currently in the animation space right now. I don't want to talk too loud because there are people around and this is an open space. So um, yeah, uh, I had class just now and I had lunch, as you saw, and now I'm probably going to be here for the next few hours working on my second year animation film, which honestly, I really enjoy my film so I don't think it's that much of a sad process or boring process compared to I guess other homework um I do have one class at night time and it's three hours long um but I'll probably take a break and I want to cook something good before I go to that class so anyways so let's begin
Hi guys, I am now back in my room because I think I did enough work so far. I probably will do a little bit more later. But yeah, um, I wanted to do something fun. And since there was a market yesterday where I bought really good sweet strawberries and I'm filming a video for once, I'm gonna make Ichigo milk strawberry milk. Um, I'm so excited because it's like my favorite drink ever and making it like homemade ones obviously would like taste more homey. So I'm so excited! Yay! So while we're cooking, let's just chat about life. Maybe I should hand the camera down so you can see the action but i'm gonna be dicing these strawberries oh yeah um i wanted to say if you knew my channel like before i went to college i think a lot of you might have known because i've said this that i'm actually really bad at cooking and now that i look back like obviously like i lived in a city known for its cheap and food that you can get so accessible like you walk down the house and there's millions of great amazing restaurants um and you can also take out from stores and stuff like and also my family cooks for me can i eat with my family so i never had the need to cook but after coming to college like that all changed firstly of course i miss my asian food like nothing will beat asian food for me but also just Kind of like a rite of passage <laughs> i feel like cooking really shows that i'm like living alone now and also because i miss home there are just so many foods in america <laughs> i guess my stomach will never be used to home food just ultimately tastes different like there are like chinese foods like kind of nearby but ultimately like it will not taste the same to me and i think obviously it's because home food is cheaper there's just so many like good things about cooking that i like also i love cooking for my friends like i literally like force them <laughs> to eat my food i get why my grandma always loves like just seeing us together and cooking for us even though she's been like in the kitchen the whole day like i i finally understand that and it's like so i don't know i feel like cooking kind of shows maturity like in a way and I'm really glad that I've grown up going to college in general. I, I learned to appreciate like my family a lot more and how much they've done for me because I've been to like a boarding school type of thing before, but like living alone, really living alone, like is a really hard task of like, having to take care of yourself, do the chores and everything. Also cooking is just so fun. And then seeing my friends' reactions when they eat my food, that just makes me really happy. So I don't know. Yeah, that's my little rant about cooking and now my new obsession. And it's also a good way to separate like from art when I'm feeling sad and it's actually productive because I get to eat what I make afterwards and I also get to control my diet more because of that and really have a more healthier food intake because the food in our cafeteria I feel like is not the healthiest option. So, yeah! Oh my god, I'm so excited for this Ichigo milk! Yay! Oh my god, look at this strawberries! Look at all the strawberries! Wow. Now that I have my strawberries, I am going to put it in the pot and then put it on, I think, medium heat. I need to check again. Um, and then add some sugar and crunch it up, and it's gonna be so slick. I have put the strawberries and it is heating up. Now I am crushing them. Anyways, I'll let you know how it goes. Yay! I do not. <laughs> no. Yay! Yay! So after I made the jam part of the Ichigo milk, um, I put it in the freezer and then I had to wait for it so I kept working and I actually finished my film background which is my main goal for today which is so slay so I could start animating this weekend for a shot because I do have like 
almost 40 shots now, I think, for my film this year. So I will try my best. Kambari mas. Anyways, we are here because I. It is time for Ichigo milk. I given you this. Wow! Yes! So happy! Yeah, so that's that. It's currently 5.30. So there's one and a bit hours before class starts. So I'm just gonna chill for a bit more. Um, and then... And then I'm gonna cook dinner. And then I'm gonna go to class. And then that's like basically the end of the day. After that, it's just lying down and stuff. Yeah, um... <laughs> it's really fun. I really miss vlogging like once in a while so um maybe we'll see more of this so yeah i'll talk to you guys in a bit hello welcome to kitchen part two so i have to cook dinner now i was thinking of doing something relatively simple um because um i kind of made like ichigo milk already okay. i love rice Be like a very pastel yellow. Wow. Just pour it on top. Wow. And then now you have Beta's signature egg rice dish. <laughs> I usually cook more than this, but um, I'm one, running out of time and I have to go to class soon. And uh, two, I drank Ichigo milk and I ate a lot of strawberries, so I am okay. Um, I'm also waiting for the kettle voice so I can make miso soup but that's basically uh today's cooking show thank you for watching wow everyone thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end of this video and it was really nice catching up with everyone going to art school when art becomes more than a hobby but also your schoolwork career i think really knowing how to have an art life balance was the most tricky part in terms of adjusting these past two years for me so once in a while learn how to distance yourself from it no matter it be doing simple chores, going on a walk, cooking a meal for yourself, to reading your favorite book. Sometimes, in order to improve, you must first take a step back from the grind itself, processing where you're at and how you're feeling. Also, the next video will probably be my second year animation film, so please look out for that. I've been working really hard on it for since October. It's been like more than half a year. And I'll update you guys soon, so stay safe, warm, and comfy. Until then, bye bye!